yeah, I understand you guys were on the plane together, flying here from Brazil. You know, how, how do you feel about that? It's a comfortable flight. Sitting, sitting right beside each other. É, na verdade, é, no outro gel, nós somos amigos já há um bom tempo já, e eu fiquei impressionado no mesmo voo que ele do lado ainda, inclusive. Mas a gente é profissional e, e isso não tem nada a ver. Well, to tell you the truth, uh, Lioro is, is a nice guy and uh, we have been uh, kind of friends for a while, we know each other for a while, but even though uh, we are friends, I got very uh, very surprised to see him on the plane and actually sitting next to me like side by side on the whole flight from Brazil here uh, It was it was a, a funny situation, but uh, I think this doesn't interfere because we're both professionals and we're, we're training hard We all we all want the same goal, so we're gonna do our best Mark Selzer from Black Belt Magazine uh, why are there so many, for the two of you, why are there so many uh, great Brazilian fighters? Why are you dominating the sport? And also for Shogun, if you win this fight, are you going to study English harder? <laughs> É, então, eu, eu, eu tô treinando inglês, só que ultimamente eu tenho lutado direto, então não treino por inglês. Então eu prefiro treinar a parte da luta, que é a prioridade, e quando eu estiver com uma folga eu treino mais inglês. Mas ultimamente eu tenho lutado bastante, então eu fazer a luta. Actually, I'm training English, I'm studying English, but I have been fighting a lot this year, and uh, I rather emphasize my training on the fighting, because this is what the fans want to see me fighting inside the ring. But um, after... <laughs> After after the fight, and I'll, I'll keep uh, training and, and trying and training English so I can speak a little better next time. Thank you. This is Nick Solomon for MMAWeekly.com. My question right now is um, regarding, you're from Bellum, uh, Machida, and you're from Curitiba. Here in the States, occasionally we have an East Coast, West Coast rivalry. Is there anything to that where you guys are from? Doesn't add any fuel? No, no, no. Uh, we are great friends. No problem. Okay. Hello. Okay. This is Jesus Olvera from Alborde. My question is actually for Jennifer. Uh, uh, the fact that you have three Latinos on the main card uh, is that one of the reasons that you, why you're bringing the the show of UFC 104 to Los Angeles? That's a good question. You know, all of our <laughs> all of our fights, every fight card that we have. Um, are stacked with fighters from all different parts of the world. It's one of the things UFC is really known for. And, um, you know, we have uh, a lot of fighters coming out of Brazil, a lot of fighters, a lot of Hispanic fighters, a lot of guys coming out of the UK. And, you know, guys wind up on the card because of their fighting skills, not because of where they're from. You know, UFC, we want all the best fighters in the world. And uh, those are the guys that, that uh, fight in the pay-per-views. So no matter where we have an event, you're always going to see guys, you know, with all kinds of different backgrounds. Okay, this is DeShaylin from MMA Worldwide and Tap Out Magazine. This question is directed towards Shogun. Why did you decide to train out of Sao, uh, Sao Paulo instead of Curvita? 
with uh, your most recent success being against Chuck Liddell? Bem, eu acho que cada luta é uma luta, cada adversário é um adversário. Eu escolhi São Paulo contra o Lidel porque São Paulo tem o melhor box do país, então eu escolhi São Paulo por causa do box. E com o outro adversário, eu busquei outros treinamentos, então eu preferi ficar em Curitiba, avaliei com a minha equipe e resolvi que Curitiba seria a melhor preparação para essa luta. Então, é, vou ficar em Curitiba para essa luta. I think each fight is a different story, a different fight. Uh, to fight Chuck Liddell, I, I believe that I needed to emphasize on boxing and São Paulo has the best boxing in Brazil so I went there to train and to prepare for this fight against Lioto I actually, I, I think uh, I need different things, different aspects of training so me and my team uh, talked about it and we decided to stay in Curitiba for this fight so it really, I mean my team is my team but I'll go wherever it's best uh, for my opponent, for my strategy and I'll bring my team with me Todd Martin from CBSSports.com. Uh, question for Lyoto Machida. Um, you've always talked about Machida Karate and been very proud of it. Um, with the wins over Tiago Silva and the win over uh, Rashad Evans, have you noticed an increase in people coming to you and saying, teach me Machida Karate, I want to learn more about the discipline? Yeah, many people come with me and talking about uh, my style, uh, asking about uh, the Machida Karate. But unfortunately, we don't have a gym yet here. But soon, we, we want to open the gym here for to, to teach her my style for everybody. I'm um, over this way. Hey, Jen, what's up? Um, Kane, this is a big test. You know, Ben's been around for a while, but uh, Ben, this is obviously a big test for you to make your mark here in the UFC. How big is a fight of this for you now to go against a guy that's strong and determined like Kane right now? Uh, I embraced the challenge. My, you know, nothing against my former opponent, but when I was telling people who I was going to fight, they would go, who? And that's kind of a fight that you're not even sure where it's at. And they offered me the, you know, the opportunity to be a co-main event against Kane, who's established himself in the UFC. I was all for it. Uh, I was very excited for the opportunity. So I'm embracing this. Um, you know, I, I just feel like I've been paying my dues for a long time, and this is my time. My question's for King. Um, you were originally scheduled to fight uh, Carwin, and uh, then he gets a title shot, and now you're fighting Ben Rothwell. Um, can you talk about that change of opponents? Does that change anything in your training or anything? No, no, it doesn't change anything. You know, I just got to get ready for a new guy. Um, I do believe down the road I'm going to be able to fight those guys, you know, Shane or Brock Lesnar. So, I mean, whether it be down the road or now, I'm, I'll be ready for it. Right, right here, Ellie Sekback with Fan House. Now, you guys are here in L.A., which is a huge stage. Have you guys been here before? Any plans to go to Disneyland or anything since you're in town? Ah, já, já, já fui pra, já vim pra cá outras vezes e conheço já a Disney e é, gostei bastante, mas bem legal. Well, actually, I have been here in LA a number of times and I have been in Disneyland already, so it's, it's pretty fun over there, but uh, everything is fine. I mean, I've been there before. Quem é o seu personagem favorito na Disney? Mickey. <laughs> He and Leota are going to go together after the press conference. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, came, I came here many times and I feel very comfortable with the, these people. And this is the way from my home from home. Thank you. Hi, uh, Winston Imano from VC Online. Uh, the question is for Machida and for Shogun. So we've established that you guys are good friends. We've established that there's no regional rivalry between Curitiba and Belém. Talk to us then about the rivalry of styles. Machida, Karate versus Muay Thai.
É, na verdade, o, o Lioto é um cara que troca em pé, eu também. E... Só que com dois jogos diferentes, né? O Lioto é mais um cara que joga no contra-golpe do cara ter, né? Eu já sou ao contrário, eu jogo no Mai Thai, então com certeza é um, é, um, é um conflito também das artes marciais também. E também é uma, é uma das grandes motivações minha também é mostrar a eficiência do Mai Thai para essa luta. Actually, this is a good point because uh, Lioto is a, is a stand-up fighter. I'm a stand-up fighter myself. But um, he comes from karate, he's a very good counter striker, fights in a very efficient style, whereas I'm a Muay Thai fighter and I fight much more pressing the action, being aggressive. And uh, I think this is a big motivation for me uh, to prove and show that Muay Thai can be efficient against his style and, and, and let's say to, to defend Muay Thai. So uh, you're right, this is a very, very good motivation for me about this fight. My style is a karate, uh, my personal style is a counter-strike. Shogun is a very aggressive fighter, he's a, a good strike, good knees, good punch. But I, I'll try to, to I push him to my style. Uh, I try all the time during the fight.